good. Reminds me of a brat so far. It's good, I like it. It's like a it's like a brat and a gyro. Gyro? A gyro. <laughs> um, at Disney prices. So Joe has just finished up his uh, lunch. He got the um, the Ronto wrapper, I think it's called. We're still here at uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Disney World. Um, there's Chewy Chewbacca is uh, over there. Think about that. Chewy Chewbacca. Is that his name? I'm a big Star Wars fan, and after I just said that, I'm wondering. Did I say that right? Uh... I think I did. Anyway. Anyway, so Joe's over there right now. I'm just finishing up a quick drink. Um, we're going to go ride uh, Smuggler's Run here in a minute. And enjoy the day. We just got started. It's We've been here already a couple hours. And we are uh, thinking we're going to be here a little bit longer. Um, within Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Uh, after that, we're going to go to Toy Story. We're going to go do... Uh, a, a few other things and I think we're going to try to make the whole day today at Hollywood Studios so it's fun being here with someone else I recommend uh, you come along with me next time please come along anyway alright folks so hopefully we can do something fun All right, so we are in line right now to jump into the Rise of the Resistance, group number 14. I understand they're doing the boarding groups between 1 to 15 at this time. Hi. Right. 14, yep. Perfect. So we're still maintaining a um, social distance. I may be a little bit further in, I do apologize. You know, they've, got, they've got this plexiglass set up here. I think it's gonna be permanent. I think that's gonna be a permanent fixture for now on. You know, Exit or the that's a uh, ground crew only right there. All right, just some of the stuff here is so cool. I mean, look at look at the thought that they put into everything. So cool. This plexiglass I didn't think of, but they've made it work. I mean, really, I think this can stay forever. This plexiglass, the way they got this set up here. Look, the, I'm talking about this plexiglass right now. If, I think it's going to stay here forever now. It works. All right, so we're group 14, and there is a line. Guess what? I don't care. I'm happy. He's <laughs> they have a seat here. You can sit down on if you need to. Here as well. Here as well. But you know what? They've got a really good system get people in and out so I haven't found the hidden Mickey on this one yet but look at this isn't this so cool I think we grew up looking at this stuff right yeah I don't know where the hidden Mickey is if anybody knows where the hidden Mickey would you please comment and tell me I can look for it thanks I know there has to be a hidden Mickey in here somewhere hello thank you Thanks, Eddie. So, he just checked my pass again, make sure I'm good. Which, yeah, there has to be. A, oh. I know this camera's not showing you everything, folks. I'm sorry. But, how cool. I got people behind me. They want to come here on this flat ride, too. You're good. I was just wondering what you're recording for. Oh, I got a little YouTube channel. Nice. Yeah, traveling drum theaters is fun. So we're talking about social media, TikTok, YouTube, and it's fun. I like being a kid again. All right, so we just got done doing Rise of the Resistance, and that was, I think, my third or fourth, fifth time doing it. I don't know. I've done it quite a bit, but this was Joe's first time doing it, and Joe, what do you think? Uh, it was fun. I th the drop, I thought, was going to be, you know, like, like Hagrid's, but it was, it, it was weird. It felt smoother and not as fast. It was more like a controlled drop. Um, and, uh, 
I don't know how to, expl to explain it. It's weird because I've been on other stuff, roller coasters and otherwise that drop, but this one just felt like it was a smooth yeah. uh, drop. It wasn't jerky. It just like gently dropped you. It's weird. Hard for me to explain. So this is one of the hottest attractions here at Disney World. And you got to sign in early, do everything else. Um, do you think it was worth it doing, getting, getting here so early to be able to get uh, onto this ride? Sure. Um, and now I want to go try a Ronto wrap. I've heard a lot about it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they do sound good, but how about this particular ride here, do you think that the theming was worth the, the uh, hype? Uh, it was definitely themed. I like the theming a lot. Uh, my, o my only desire is I wish it had more like roller coaster elements, but that's, I'm biased because I'm a roller coaster guy. I love roller coasters. <laughs> right. But this is easily one of the best rides I've ever been on. The experience was really good. Uh, Especially, so, I really liked at the very beginning the pre-show. It felt like you were, um, like you were on a spaceship with um, um, was it Admiral Akbar. Yeah. So yes, that's what I felt too. I think, you know, I think the theming was perfect. I think it was one of the things that um, you have to be a participant mentally as well as just physically to be able to ride this ride because it, it's an inclusive ride. They involve you as a a um, you are a prisoner basically and they're, they're, you're treated as such but i do love it I, I think that the atmosphere made me feel like i was there on the ride the whole time um you know i was i was just amazed once again it just doesn't get old for me we're gonna go try to do some other stuff today so come along <laughs> <laughs>